who cannot afford to come to hospital, mostly they are highly risky mothers in the village because these complications can arise in the village. And they, most of them die. They end up dying. That's why we have high maternal mortality rate in Uganda. Hey. Uh -huh. This is a birth preparedness plan. Some have trained some midwives, and Minister of Health also trained all midwives to test. That's why we are now having our own mini lab in Antinento. When I discharging, eh? I'm discharging these mothers from the ward. They had a normal delivery. What about this one? <laughs> <laughs> I'm discharging even that one. So this one had a normal deliveries yesterday at night, and all the babies are alive. The biggest number of babies I deliver in a night can be five deliveries. Like uh, the other day, I delivered five babies at night which I disturbed, I discharged yesterday afternoon. This baby will come out when she's tired. Because a girl can't, she doesn't know how to push. It's a cold around the neck. You have to leave me to help you. I want you alive. Once more. Yeah. Good. 2.6. I was also born a premature, but was somebody, uh, a skilled a traditional bath attendant who saved me. Because I was weighing 900 grams, my mother was restless and they said this thing here you cannot just throw. But the lady said, no, we keep this thing 24 hours working. And these mothers in this village, in our communities, they believe in you. I do the job because I have that feeling, that passion for, for the mothers.